right now we are thrilled uh, to be talking to the head basketball coach, Steve Fisher, at San Diego State, uh, and getting his guys ready to see if they can make a run in the conference tournament next week. Everybody knows Steve Fisher, phenomenal career, of course. Coach, thanks for coming on. Uh, we, we, we really appreciate having you. How's everything going? Everything is good. I'm sitting in uh, the Jam Center in uh, our film room having a little lunch, and our plane's delayed, so we're going to leave here at about 12.30 and head to Albuquerque for a big game with uh, the Mexico Lobos. What's for lunch today, Coach? Well, I got shrimp with shrimp with pasta, so it's pretty good. Nice. Oh, oh. oh a boy, little shrimp is, carbonara. I would, have, I would have invited you over had I known earlier I was going to be on with you. Listen, listen, uh, just so you know, from now on going forward, anything to do with food, we're in. Yeah, so that's right. just th- th- that's very kind of you. Um, all right, Coach, look, how, I think with the way people are talking about this season, clearly you are a victim of your own success over the years because people are looking at this going, oh, okay, uh, not, not the greatest season. How do you characterize this season so far? I would say the same thing, to be honest with you. Uh, yet, uh, if you keep it in perspective, there are 354, I believe, Division I schools, and probably 220 to 250 would kill to be 17 and 12, which is what we are. Yet, your point's well taken. We have been spoiled, but we've raised expectations that are realistic. When we came here, our goal was to grow and build a program, and we've done that. So when you don't do what you think you can do, it's, it's disappointing. Uh, if if you watch us play, if you watch our games and you go back and look, if we'd have made a, one play here or one play there, we could have four more league victories, and we would be today playing or tomorrow playing not to get out of the playing game for for fifth and sixth, but we'd be playing for a championship like we have for the last three years. But sometimes that's your lot in life, and that's who we are right now. So our goal is to go in and play like crazy tomorrow and, and get a win in the pit, which is not an easy place to win. And then go to, to Vegas and win three games if we win or four games if we don't win and and make a disappointing season a fantastic season with the finish. SDSU men's basketball coach Steve Fisher joining us. And, and you know, you talked about some close wins. You had another win. You're rolling off a little momentum going into New Mexico. But that win, I mean, characterized widely as, as sloppy. The shooting wasn't quite there, but it was enough. How important is uh, this next game for you guys, aside from just missing the, the play-in game, just, just as far as that momentum, keeping it rolling into the, the conference tournament? You guys know, having played, you know, you always feel better about yourself when you have success. And in our world, it's winning. In other worlds, it's did you make your quarterly quota? Did you, you know, are we, are we positive with the end of the year? And our positive is after every game. And everybody can evaluate us. We get an A or an F after every game. And we feel much better our about ourselves when we're coming off of successful games. So it's important. It's important. And yet I could cite you numerous examples of teams that stumbled down the stretch and all of a sudden got hot at the end. By the end, I mean their own conference tournament and had miraculous runs. Whatever we do, we have to make sure that we are excited and ready for the next one. It's a little easier for everyone if you're coming off wins. And we got Air Force in our last home game. We now hope that we can add that second one with New Mexico and have a two-game win streak headed to Vegas. Coach, you know all about March basketball. You've won a national championship. In your opinion, does a team to do that need like a true one? You know, I mean, you're, you're, you've coached Chris Weber, Jalen Rose, Kawhi Leonard. Uh, your your team right now, the leading score has, is at 13 points per game. Does this team have a true one, and do you need that? By by one, you mean a go to guy or a point guard? Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah, a go to guy, guy that can just grab that ball in a tie game with 30 seconds to go and say, "Let me do this." Well, you're always better if you've got a, a a guy that you know wants the ball and everybody knows that we're going to get him the ball 
uh, down the stretch. Uh, we have had, uh, you know, that by committee, to be honest with you, the person who's been most consistent doing delivering in a positive way for us has been Trey Kell. Uh, and yet Jeremy Hemsley has had a couple of games where he's been phenomenal down the stretch of games. So we don't have that guy. We don't have uh, D.J. Gay to give the ball to to make a play. Uh, Kawhi Leonard, as you made reference to, a Jamal Franklin that will will himself to make a play. Uh, and how much of that is, is indicative of 17 and 12, I don't know. I do know that we've got enough good players that someone is capable of making a play and allowing us to be successful. In the NCAA tournament, you're, you're, you've got a, a chance if you've got really good guards. If your perimeter play is good, then you usually will have the best opportunity to survive in advance, uh, all else being equal. San Diego State men's basketball coach Steve Fisher with us on Mark and Rich. I realize you're waiting for an away trip right now. The plane's late. But uh, you guys have had a bunch of homestands. This has been a different year probably than most with the Chargers announcing they're, they're leaving their departure to L.A. How has the fan base reacted? Are you noticing more attendance, uh, uh, more activity at the games, or has it really not changed? We we have had a sold out sign on the AHAS for six years now, uh, which has lent itself to being. They've written articles in Basketball Times, the five toughest uh, venues or the five greatest home courts in the country, and we were listed in that. This was like two years ago, and we were with the likes of Duke, Kentucky. Kansas, Arizona, and someone else. And that's rarefied air. This year, the last five games, our students, who will be a lot 2,500 tickets for, have not pulled, picked up their full complement of tickets. So we have not had a, a, a sold-out building the last four or five home games. We've, those that have come, though, have been tremendously loyal, supportive fans. We all know winning brings out all the shirt tail cousins. Everybody <laughs> wants to be a part of it when you're winning and really winning big. Uh, so we have to do our part also. Our, our crowds have not been as good the last four or five games, and our record has something to do with it. Coach Steve Fisher, we'll, we'll let you run. I did want to ask you, you know, we were talking about Kawhi Leonard there for a second. Uh, do you talk to him a lot? And, and, and you know, Kevin Durant's injury, are, 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 are the Spurs now the favorite in the West, you think? Well, uh, Kawhi, uh, he doesn't talk to anybody a lot, to be real honest with you. Uh, he comes back here every summer uh, for a lot of reasons. He loves San Diego. He has a great affection for, for San Diego State and our basketball program. He has unlimited access to the Jam Center. And his trainer, who was his strength and conditioning coach at San Diego State, Randy Shelton, is now his paid trainer. Uh, a little quick story. Kawhi started, as we all know, in the All-Star game in New Orleans. Immediately after the game, he chartered a plane, flew to San Diego, and at 6.30 the next day, he was in with Randy working. And that's how and why he has become who he is. But it's also why he will probably get better. He is so consumed with being the very best. And we're obviously very proud of one of our own uh, doing what he's doing in the NBA. Uh, Kevin Durant had the unfortunate injury. Uh, and sometimes things happen where, you know, you you say, we're not going to be as good, but sometimes when it, when it happens, uh, even though they lost two in a row for the first time in forever, the Warriors did, uh, others will play. There'll be a new dynamic, and maybe they will come back and, and be what they were the last two years, the team that's the prohibitive favorite to win the championship. Spurs are good. 
the Spurs are really, really good. Yep. So don't be surprised if if uh, they're the ones coming out of the West. Well put. The Spurs are definitely good. Coach, thank you so much uh, for taking time with us today. Good luck in New Mexico. Enjoy the shrimp and pasta, but look, be careful with the seafood at the airport. We need you in tip-top shape uh, next week for the tournament. I watch my diet very carefully, so I will be careful. Thank you, man. Appreciate you having me on.